Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brad Smith, owner of Automation Links. Today I want to talk about boosting your brand using automation. Now I've been doing this for not only myself, but my 2,500 businesses I've worked with over the last nine years on automating. And automating is not only going to save you time, but it's going to make your brand stick out. And that's really the key when it comes to your brand and your business. You want to be different. You want to be the authority. You want to stick out. And there's so many channels out there that you just maybe don't know where to start or you don't know how to automate them all. So you're missing a lot of pieces in the puzzle. So if you stick with me to the end, I'm going to show you where you can get my five automation tips that you can simply copy and paste from me and put it right into your business right away. So let's get started. Tip number one is CRMs. Now CRMs are a place for you to basically keep everything all in one place. As an example, the CRM we use has all of our pipelines and opportunities. So anyone that comes into my business, all of their information is going to be stored there. They have all of our website contact forms. So anytime someone fills out a lead magnet or a contact page, all of that person's data is pushed into the CRM. It also has all of my automated emails, my automated text messages. So when somebody fills out the form, they get an automated email, they get an automated text. They pretty much is this whole system runs my business on autopilot from there. It allows me to schedule appointments. So when somebody comes in, they can actually schedule a call with us and then it adds to the calendar and then it sends the zoom link. So all these things can happen while I'm sleeping, while I'm working with clients, while I'm busy. And that's what I want to teach you today for in this video. What are some systems that you can put into place to just let your business run on autopilot? Now, if you don't have a CRM, Customer Relationship Manager, you really need to start there because that's that place where everything can go into one. Now you're thinking, hey, I'm using Calendly, I'm using HubSpot, I'm using MailChimp. You might be using all these different softwares. That, that's your problem right there. They're probably not all integrated. So that's why I always suggest finding a really good CRM where everything is included in one. From there, we also are able to automate our social media posts in the CRM. We're able to you know, send mass email campaigns to all of our leads and clients if we want. So many different options that you can do in a CRM. And if you need any suggestions, I'll post my affiliate link down below of the one we use and the one we recommend for all of our clients where everything is just all in one. But if you already have one, shoot me a message if you're missing any of these links because I wanna help you get this thing automated. I want somebody to come to your website, fill out a form, get an email, schedule a call, get an abandoned cart, purchase, call you, whatever it takes to get them to become a customer. And then from there, you can automate everything on the back end, asking for reviews, sending your course, getting an affiliate and referrals. So there's so many options, but let's start with one. Let's just get that CRM set up and go from there. Next is email automation. So it doesn't really matter what email software you're using. You need to have some automations in your email to build better relationships. Now, a lot of times when people think of emails, they think of sales emails and newsletters. Well, I think that is all wrong. Email should be a way to nurture your leads, build relationships, educate them, get them to the next step stage in the funnel. So what we want to do is when somebody comes to your website and fills out a form, we want to send them an email with a welcome note. We want to send them an email the next day with an action. We want to send an email in two days with some education and value. Another email in a few days to remind them to schedule or come back and buy. So you want to be able to set these up. Now, once you set them up once, they're set for life. So we have three years worth of automated emails that go out that will follow up with someone for three years because I've been building these over time. So I want to make this simple for you. Go to one of your last leads that came into your business and I want you to personally email them six times over the course of the next two weeks. So you're gonna email them today, you're gonna to email them tomorrow, then every other day until you email six or seven times and make these personal. Give them some education, provide some value, invite them to schedule a call, have them follow you on social media. So the goal is to personally send these emails to one person. Now you've got seven emails after the two weeks that you can copy and paste into your email marketing software. You have to keep these personal and provide value. And if you do it one-to-one -one with somebody, you can then copy and paste that into your system. Tip number three, schedulers automation. So if somebody comes to our website, fills out a form, we invite them to schedule a call on our website. 
Once they schedule a call, it sends the calendar invite. It goes into their calendar, sends an automated email. Then it reminds them the day before. And then the Zoom link is automatically in that calendar. Then the next day it says, thank you for attending uh, the Zoom call yesterday with next steps. If you don't have that in place, you need to get this set up, especially if you're a business owner. Now, if you're an e-commerce owner, I will touch on that on the next step here. But for a business owner, you wanna be able to automate that calendar. So whether you're using Calendly or the CRM that we recommend, you need to have these steps in place. You just have to set them up once. You log in, connect your calendar, Google or Outlook. You place the Zoom link in there because you say it's a Zoom invite. And then you set in the reminder and the notification. And then you push the button, add an email an hour before or a day before. And then you push another button, send an email the next day. So these calendar softwares make it really easy for you to do that. So you can automate this whole process to get people to actually schedule and most importantly, show up. Tip number four, this is for the e-commerce, but I also use this for our B2B business. A lot of B2B businesses that we work with, we implement abandoned cart for. So whether you're e-commerce or business, a business, um, B2B business, you can do abandoned carts. So whenever somebody shows interest in purchasing something, they are usually busy. So I always say they're probably at the school pickup line waiting for to pick up their kids from school. They're on their phone. They're about to buy. The kid comes out. They put their phone down and they drive away. So that's going to be key. What about reminding them? Are you reminding them to come back to, and buy? Are you reminding them the next day? Hey, by the way, you forgot to buy this or you forgot to check out. You forgot to buy my course. You forgot to buy my product. What about a couple days later. What if they were interested in buying, but they just weren't ready to buy today? You can follow up with them with a few emails, even a text message. My favorite sunglass brand, they send me text messages and emails, and they're not boring ones, they're fun. They're like, hey, we know you're busy enjoying the holiday weekend, but just in case you need some shades, here's a good discount. So you can make these fun and you can say, hey, we know you're interested. You're probably not ready to buy right now, but we're going to stay top of mind. You want to keep reminding them and you want to keep staying top of mind. So when they are ready to buy, they choose you over your competitors. Tip number five, social media automation. So we don't have time to just sit on social media all day and comment and DM and send people to our website. So what you can do is you can actually automate your social media posting. And what I do is I spend an hour a week and I go into um, either Google Doc or our CRM system and I just write out a bunch of social media posts. Um, my virtual assistant now does it for me. But when I first started, I just wrote them all out. Then I went into my CRM and I scheduled them all. So now I have quality posts on every single platform. Now, a lot of businesses, they get caught up on the creative and making it look really fancy and all these animations when really your audience just wants to see quality, consistency, and something they can learn from. So technically, you don't have to make this thing super beautiful and stick out unless you're a jewelry store or you have products that need this good imagery. If you're a business, you can just provide tips. And the goal is educate and provide tips. You don't have to talk about sales. You don't have to put all these crazy images in there. As an example, you can check out my Twitter feed. I just post in infographics. So I hire a virtual assistant to write my infographics from my scripts. And that is my post and it's providing value and education. If somebody wants to sign up for the newsletter or if they want to buy something, they'll go click the link in the bio. I don't have to tell them to do that. So when you do your social media posts, I want you to remember a few things. Quality, simple, educational, and consistent. If you can only do it three times a week, do it three times a week. And you don't need to be on every single platform. I made this mistake. I thought I had to be on TikTok, on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, on LinkedIn. You want to just focus on a few platforms that are your specialty, where your ideal audience is at. And from there, you can just post consistently. You can provide that education and start building that audience around there. Eventually, they'll go find you in other places. If you're watching my YouTube video, maybe you found me on Twitter. Maybe you found me on LinkedIn. Or if you're on my LinkedIn, maybe you found me from YouTube. So people will go find you in other areas. So once you get consistent, go into your CRM and schedule the social media post. Now, once you've done this for a few weeks or a few months, go find a virtual assistant for 3 to $5 an hour to do this for you. So you basically 
basically can talk into your phone with an audio, send the audio to them, and they'll create the social media posts and send it. That's what I do. You can send them a video. You could write the post, send it to them, and they'll create the images and schedule it for you. So you need to spend a little money to automate this because it will build up your brand and build up your audience. And that goes into my last tip, number six, virtual assistants. So you can do everything on your own and you can only automate a certain amount of things. So we're gonna automate our emails, our text, our scheduling, our social media posts. We're gonna automate all this stuff, but you still need somebody to add that personal touch and actually copy and paste it in. So I find virtual assistants on Fiverr, and I'll post my affiliate link for Fiverr down below, but that's where you can go find really great virtual assistants for any task that you need. So go find a social media person, go find an email person, and you can just spend $10 a job, $50 a job. I spend just a few hundred dollars a, a month on my virtual assistants and everything gets done. So now you've pretty much completely automated your business. You've got all these systems in place and the goal is to build value, follow up with all of your leads and also be consistent. And you'll be a brand that really sticks out. That's gonna save you time, it's gonna save you money because if you end up doing it yourself, it's gonna cost more than a virtual assistant doing it for you. All right, so I promise you my free follow-up guide. So go ahead and grab that. You'll see it in the first comment down below. You can grab that blueprint and it's where I basically give you my five exact ways to follow up with people. And you can go copy those emails. You can go copy the exact blueprint so you can start following up with all of your leads. So thank you again. If you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate it. But my goal is to provide value. So I hope this educated you. And if it, if, if any of this resonated with you, I want you to go and implement just one. This might be overwhelming, doing all of this at one time. Go implement one of these things I told you. I would suggest implementing that CRM in one automated email. Once you have that in place, maybe next week implement another, the week after implement another, the week after get a virtual assistant. So you wanna really do one thing at a time and in a few months you'll have everything automated. And of course, say hi in the comments below. If you watch this, love to see you, learn more about your business and about your brand. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next video.